What is going on, Lunatic Fringe? Let's talk about what's going on in the Luna Classic market. Um, Binance Square, another article. Something is happening here. I'm telling you guys, it is about to get absolutely crazy. Yesterday, I told you, you got about 24 hours. 24 hours later, what happened? Well, Luna Classic has started to pump. And still no burns yet. So uh, sometime at this point today, we're probably going to see something significant happen and I'm excited. I hope you are too. If you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button and hit the subscribe button if you like me. If you don't like me, hit the subscribe button just so you can talk mad shit about me because um, I'm always right and you're not, boy. All right, let's get into it. So first up, Terra Luna Classic, can the October 31 burn spark a historic comeback? Happy Halloween to everybody. And a uh, few cryptos have experienced the highs and lows, blah, blah, blah. This is that, and I don't want to dismiss it, but um, burn amount, 250 billion tokens set for destruction, aiming to trim down 6 trillion token supply, uh, more than we've seen burn at any point so far. So this is a massive bullish sentiment at the end. This is not the sentiment that takes it to the moon, by the way. This is just the sentiment right now that gives us a nice little pump off of what we're doing. So I would not get too into this at the moment. What I would be hoping for, what I would be looking for if I'm you, is I would be looking for a nice move and then a settlement into the range. I'll show you exactly what that looks like in just a moment. Now, basically, to summarize here, they're, they're really just saying stuff like this. 1% of all-time high, $1.19 would represent incredible returns for anybody who's invested right now because you would be talking about something like a 1,000x return. Now, you know, again, if you just reduced the supply, then your value would double, if that makes sense. Um, and then... If you go from 5 million market cap to 5 billion market cap in the same time, that's a 10x, making it a 20x potential return. So we're a long way from what we would be looking for. You'd have to reduce the the, the supply by an enormous amount to get to where we really need to be. And that's going to come, again, we're now seven days removed from where Ceramic is supposed to put out his first article outlining and giving you guys the idea of what happens next with the 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 repeg thus burn process so we shall see how this plays out right now we don't know what we do know is there's no uh, additional information over here on commonwealth right now again i encourage you guys to sign up for commonwealth and read through these articles uh, as far as meme coins go uh lunk got a little bit of a pump going on as we can see right here it's up about a hundred bucks overall for every you know uh for what we have eh, you know, let's call it about 80 bucks right now cat with hat uh, is still continuing to soar boys up over 100 again food uh sitting at around 100 and juris again juris had a nice little dump here uh but uh, it, let me restress one more time if you weren't listening uh it has played off of its 618 right here and has created uh, the reversal that we're looking for, again, bouncing off of 0.50. So uh, the fact that we have 1.4K traders means that there are some people that are making some money off of this project right now. So uh, what I would be looking for is a continuation of this back up into this range over the next couple of days. Um, moving this out just a little bit would give you more of an idea there and uh, make this easy for you. Let's do this. We're going to put this in. Uh, we're going to make this gold. We're going to make this gold, and then we're going to make everything else green. Wait. Okay, so we've simplified Fibonacci. When we get into this range right here, this is where we get a strong bounce or where we should get a strong bounce. So I would be uh, suspecting that a strong bounce is imminent for Juris. Simplified tax handling. Still waiting for the final votes to come in. We still have three days on it, a little over two days. Um, need a few big votes here to push it over the past threshold, but there's really no negatives at this point. So... I assume that this is going to pass. Uh, as far as price action, there you have it right there. Now, um, I, I before we get started, I want to note here, market is down on the day. So uh, we are at this point running contrary to the broader market, but we need the we need the market to do something. We need the market to start to sizzle just a little bit in order to get that, you know, at the right time um, sort of movement, which going into November, look, we've had a great October. So now it's time to talk about that, November pump being real, and we'll see how that works. Remember, the market, when it comes to fear and greed index, really, really cooked right now, over 70. And generally speaking, what I tell you guys is between 20 and 30, buy, between 70 and 80, sell. Except when we get into the bull run phase, there is a possibility 
that we're just going to sit at 70 to 80 for the rest of the market for you know the next eight or nine months. That's how, that's how it works when we get to that bull run phase. So we could be looking at um, uh, the election. Look, the, I, let me put it this way. We're going to go up and we're going to continue up, but we've got an election in a couple days. So we have to wait for the election before we get the real deal here, before we get the real pump. Okay. Right now, we're just setting ourselves up. What I would like to see on this chart over the next couple of days, which is why we put it out this way, is exactly what I showed you right here with a move up into this range over the next couple of days, getting into 3012. I would be comfortable at around. Uh, 3 zeros 12 151 because that would be a breakout above this previous high right here then a visit to that golden ratio at 3 zero 16 299 now look that's not setting the world on fire by the way that's just a nice robust sort of move what i would like to see ultimately would be that move coupled with a push above a bounce below and then a test of this range up here and let me show you what that range looks like as you zoom out you can see here that we've done this multiple times so that's what we want to see happen right there now in the event that that were to happen then what we would like to also see is a continuation of that trend and a successful retest right here maybe a little sideways action and then a breakout and boom we're off to the races all of these things are lined up right now it's just a matter of execution and attracting new investors to come in here. And by the way, those new investors, they exist. And I want to show you why. All right. So we were in a bear market a year ago. There were less retail investors than there are right now, by the way. And uh, we were able to come up into this range right here. Now, let's take this back a little bit further. And we were able to come up here at, you see that 24-hour volume on April of 2022. This is before the, the collapse and everything happened, right? Um, see right here where I got my uh, cursor, 2.34 billion market cap. So, you know, as I move around here, and the hard part is, you know, of course, let's... Uh, a year ago, the valuation of Cryptonomy.Finance was $3.7 billion, according to the British government. Today, that value, $6.1 billion. This company has managed to raise $2.4 billion in capital over the last 365 days. If you're looking for a place to get information about investment opportunities, then Cryptonomy Telegrams are the place over here. This is the quarter. Uh, this is the quarter, third quarter uh, marketing overview. This is Ben Armstrong has predicted uh, XRP past ETH in market capitalization. These are news articles that are constantly giving you the information that you need. Additionally, there's an update channel and it's giving you market structure playouts. It's giving you market updates on each major country and indices that there are out there right now to give you an idea of what is going on in the market so that you can get an idea of what it looks like broadly and how these governments are working. Big news articles, whatever you need, Cryptonomy has it for you. Not only does Cryptonomy have it, but myself, Dean DCA, Crypto, Lift Capital, Jake Gordon, we're all writing articles for Cryptonomy. You can come check. I did one on Immutable Quarter 2 of 2024. Uh, we've also got Thorchain, State of NYM, and we got Ronin's Web3 Gaming Empire. Guys, if you need information about this crazy crypto market, then by all means, you need to go to economy.finance slash research. But none of that matters unless you are using cryptonomy.finance the way that it's meant to be used by setting up fixed staking so that you can earn some significant yields. Let's set up a deposit today. Today we're dropping three ETH into a nine month contract. All right, we've created that, but the biggest move into all of it is the launch pool. Guys, I cannot stress enough. They've had 57X average return so far in their investments. If you just create a deposit, I've got a potential for up to 5x with a 50-50 profit sharing from the launch pool. We're going to create this contract now for $20,000. And there we have it. The anticipated profit between 1 and 5x when this thing is completed. And it will complete in October of 2025, just in time to cash out for the bull market. So what are you waiting for? Sign up for autonomy.finance today. Drop that range right there. So 2.65 billion market cap is the big number. Now... How far away is that? Well, that's 5x away. So what we are talking about is the real potential to revisit that with no new investors coming in, just the investors who have given it a shot and who wrote it up that last time. 
writing it up one more time. So we should be looking at something like that. We are getting ready at that sort of inflection point for that breakout. So I do think that we will see something like that happen. Now, um, just in March, we were at 1.18 billion market cap. So it's not impossible or improbable even. Um, the, the, what we're looking at in the broader context of the market is we're looking at Bitcoin continuing to soar. We're looking at the market continuing to soar, not yet even up to previous highs. So the bull run hasn't even started yet. This is about to get so much bigger that, you know, we had to zoom out here and, you know, my cap over here on the next market is way up here at around six to seven trillion. And because of BlackRock, because of Fidelity, it could be way bigger. So um, just, you know, and, and I know I'm putting a lot into this to tell you, but I'm preparing you for, you know, this really is coming and uh, it's going to be crazy when you actually see it play out. So, and that applies, by the way, to Luna Classic. You're going to see the same thing actually play out over here. And when we visit that all-time high, again, we're not we're not talking about the old all-time high. We're talking about this recent uh, collapse all-time high. This is just a blip on the radar up here at 3059.250. This is just a blip on the radar. The next step is to bust through that and start to really soar uh, all the way up into that one cent range, which... Uh, this is the number that I gave you for the end of this rally right there. That is what I think is going to happen. Almost three cents. I wish I could say more, you know, I'll, I'll, to be honest with you, I, I would like to be able to say more, but I, this is already to me an incredible stretch. And the reason it's an incredible stretch is because I don't know burn strategy and how we effectively reduce the supply in an appreciable way that would allow for this thing to just absolutely explode. So that's what I'm looking for and that's what I'm wanting to see. And I haven't seen it yet. So when I see it, you guys will know. Now, volume, 67 million. We are up 158%. What does that mean for burns tomorrow? Uh, when we get this type of volume, if we just maintain this type of volume uh, and get, you know, 3x on the market cap or so, like we did not that long ago, then uh, what happens there? Well, then we get phenomenal amounts of burns from Binance. And that's really what we need to see. Now, for USTC, you can see it is up 482%. Why is all of this happening? Well, you guys know the drill. This bridge wallet right here is going to be burned. So that means 251 billion Luna Classic is about to be removed from the supply. And as you come down here, you'll find more places. Wormhole Token Bridge has 84 billion right there. So, um, you know, some of these things are just going to disappear and they're just going to evaporate. Um, and then USTC, I mean, Jesus, it gets really big here. 1.8 billion right here, 290 million right here. You know, some of these wallets that, that we don't even know about are about to burn and it's about to be significant. So um, super exciting. That's why people are getting in right now. And I told you, I told you this is going to get bonkers. And again, I feel like this is an easy 3x at this point. So, um, you know, we should be able to see that play out. Uh, as far as the rest of it goes, there's still no announcement from uh, Terra underscore money. Uh, still no announcement from Fleece Cannon. Nobody's saying anything. Could be, but they're not, which uh, I don't think that's a problem. But really effective communication does seem kind of important at this point, don't you think? Uh, so as far as the rest of it, just a lot of hyperbole from a bunch of different people who are excited about the possibility of all these burns coming and recognizing the nice little price pump that we're getting. By the way, uh, three zeros, 10, 154 was the top um, in that last little surge. And I expect that to be blasted through over the next 24 hours and a continuation. So uh, as far as lunk burns goes, down to 190 million. Eh, um, nothing really to worry about there. Cat with hat, 23 billion still burned. Uh, so we come over to stake bin and let's see what we got so far. We got 32 million burned today. It's not significant. Uh, we've got uh, 62,000 USTC burned today. Again, not significant. We need to see some of that craziness. We haven't seen the craziness yet. Speaking of craziness, if you are not subscribed to Terra Casino and you're not using it right now for your risk-based gaming, you probably are crazy. So uh, why don't you go sign up today? Uh, as a matter of fact, right now, there's a $5,000 poker pre-roll in two days. Uh, there's Danger High Voltage brought to you by BTG in partnership with Terra Casino. There's Terra Casino in the World Poker League giving away 2 million euros over the next, uh, up through December 22nd. And then, of course, you know, all of the famous cryptos that you can use over here. Uh, and, by the way, 
Again, just to give you an idea here, people are not wagering gigantic amounts of money. Uh, they're using a little B&B &B here for $1.21. Uh, they're using uh, XRP for $0.50 cents right here. And by, and by the way, this burns some of those tokens as we do that. Right now, they're burning cat with hat, but... Uh, there's a lot of, there's a lot of risk based gaming going on right now using tether using ethereum using xrp guys you can use whatever crypto you want and if you want more cryptos to be sponsored and hosted in this platform then just let us know usdc you can see that one going through right right there uh guys uh if you're not <laughs> you're missing out uh, also if you want to trade meme coins this is the place now <clears throat> terraport.finance that's your all stop place here we're going to claim all our rewards and uh, we are done with our staking. We're going to claim everything and we're going to unstake because we've finished our 90 days. So we're going to claim that. Ooh, I'm not sharing my password with you. And if you listen to my keyboard just now and you heard my keyboard, yes, I'm a little teapot.69.69. .69. Okay, so we're done with that. We've claimed our, our, our we've claimed it. Now we're going to unstake um, and then we're going to unstake all and we're going to execute that contract as well. And we're going to wait for the confirmation. Okay, so we've gotten all of our stake out. Now we're gonna stake again. Click right here, and then we're just gonna max it out. We now have uh, 5,766. So we're gonna go ahead and stake. Actually, we're gonna wait. I told you I was gonna buy 4,000 more. I'm gonna go buy 4,000 more, and then we're gonna stake it. So we're gonna come over here to trade. So we're gonna trade 626,000 Luna Classic for about 5,000 Terra. Swap completed. Okay, so now when we come over here and we go to our launch pad, it'll reset itself tomorrow and then we'll have what we need here. We'll have 10,000 Terra in our wallet. In the meantime, we're gonna go stake here and we're gonna do that for maximum 10,699.10. We're gonna stake all of it right now for 14 days. All right, confirmation completed. We now have 10,699 uh, Terra and it is staked for the next 14 days uh, at a rate of 16%. And uh, there we go. Also, by the way, uh, Rocket Defense, don't forget, um, I'm, I just played uh, before we started here. Um, I don't know if I'm on the leaderboard. Let me put the wallet in, and then let's go to the leaderboard. Um, uh, yeah, I'm number three overall right now. So, uh, ha, 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 ha. Uh. Yeah, there we go. All right, so anyway, the new season just started. So if you haven't already, go check out uh, Rocket Defense. Uh, don't forget Teratritium. Don't forget all these different games in this ecosystem. Guys, in the next 24 hours, uh, that the, the burns will actually happen. It is the 31st. So over the next few hours, we're going to see a significant amount of burns and then a significant amount of price pump. And then I'm going to say, I told you so. Let me tell you where I think it's going to go, and I'll do that tomorrow. It's not financial advice, but I'm always right.